We're going to shift to soccer now, and for that, we're headed to Dallas. Like so many states across the country, Texas loves high school football. But the state has produced a number of talented soccer players over the years as well. Players like Kyle Rote Jr., Stuart Holden, and Clint Dempsey all rose through the ranks of youth soccer in the state of Texas. The next big name on the Dallas horizon is homegrown player Paxton Pomacall, a midfielder for FC Dallas. The competition in DFW is unbelievable. I'd say us in California have the best soccer in, in the U.S. So to be, I think that's why we have so much talent here is because there's healthy competition of the best players in the country here. So I mean, I think that's, that's why we, we succeed. Paxton also credits coming from a soccer family for his talent on the field. His father, Preston, was a midfielder at the University of North Texas. His oldest brother, Pierce, currently is a defender at Columbia University in New York. And the youngest of the Pomacall boys, Porter, is a member of FC Dallas Academy. The constant competition going on between the boys is one of the reasons Paxton and his family believe he's excelled at such a young age. Because we'd always go in the backyard and play together and compete, but you know, he's three years older than I was, so back then it, it was hard for me because he's so much bigger than I was, so. I think that helped my game a lot and just all the household games and all the friends coming over playing World Cup upstairs against the couch and stuff like that. So I have blinds that are still broken in the house that I want replaced now, which probably would be a good time because they don't do it as often. And they are very competitive inside the house, but not so much outside the house. Like they're very proud of Paxton and what all he's accomplished. Paxton was 16 when he signed his first professional contract which made him the second youngest player in the history of FC Dallas. Though playing in his first pro game was a dream come true for Paxton, the most memorable moment was how his teammates embraced him as they won the 2016 Open Cup. Like three days after I signed, we, uh, we won Open Cup, which was pretty cool. And like, they, they still like accepted me as part of the team because uh, I, I signed and obviously I'm, I'm whatever the 15th, 16th on the ground for the team. Many surreal moments have taken place at the beginning of Paxton's young career like getting to wear the number 19, worn by legendary FC Dallas player Bobby Ryan, one of Paxton's favorite players growing up. The number had been left dormant since Ryan's passing in 2008, and Paxton took over the number after asking for Ryan's wife's blessing. Paxton plays with passion, grit, and a never-say-die attitude, qualities that embody the late Ryan. Coaches believe that those qualities will take Paxton far. I mean, I've, I've seen Paxton play since he was 11 years old, but we knew that he was special. And the minute Oscar saw him and the rest of the pro staff, uh, there's something there. I, I guess us, us that have been around for, in soccer for a long time, you, you can tell that he, that he has that in his genes, that he has it in his, in, in his feet. You know, God gave him that gift, and um, we have to take advantage of it. I'm a huge Arsenal fan, which is a team in England, so I tried to kind of shape my style of play after the way they play and they play a lot of possession-oriented like combinations, and I really like that style growing up, so I kind of tried to model my game after the team, not really a player. I like the ball, and you can't play without the ball, so on offense, you try to keep it. On defense, you try to get it back, so that's why I work hard to get the ball back and, and play with it, because without the ball, you can't play. So Even with all that talent, Paxton has had to make some sacrifices to reach his goals. Once a student at Flower Mound High School, he now has to take his classes online so he can study while on the road and have a more flexible schedule to fit around training. Finishing school online is slightly unorthodox, but it has helped Paxton keep other aspects of his life ordinary. There is sacrifices and you have to give up some of your social life, but then again, I, I try to make an effort to mingle and go back and hang out with all of them even more because now I uh, don't go to school with them. So I, I'd say I hang out with my friends more now than I did when I went to school. Paxton may have signed a contract for more than most people make in a year, but his family does everything they can to keep him grounded. Paxton, a professional soccer player, still has the responsibilities of Paxton, the 17-year-old kid off the pitch. I think we try to just keep him as normal as he used to be, and in my house, he is. He still follows my rules, and to me, he hasn't changed this hardly at all. Ever since I signed, it's nothing really changed. I still have a curfew, still have to be home. It's like, just because I, I signed doesn't mean anything. So, you know, I live at home like any other 17 year old kid. Where many of us dream to live extraordinary lives, those who have them can wish for normalcy. But the young midfielder knows that this is his ordinary. Obviously you have some days where you, not I wouldn't say regret is the right word, but you, you 
you wish that you wouldn't have to go to training where you could go to Six Flags with your friends or go see a concert or go hang out at the lake, you know, but at the end of the day, I chose this life and I want it, so the days that uh, I think of that, it's uh, nothing compared to the days where I sit here and I'm like, wow, like, this is what I want to do, so I'd say it, it, it perils in comparison. The growing superstar who has the makeup of a legend is just happy to be starting with his hometown team in the soccer town of Dallas, Texas. You know, in elementary school, you write down what you want to be, and that's always what I was, was I wanted to be a professional soccer player, and that's what I strive to do, and that was my goal, and so it's pretty cool.